It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Bears and the Niners. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Northern California and Levi Stadium in the South Bay in Santa Clara, California. So good to have you on board with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, in this league, you know it, you lived it. Undergoing a changing of the guard at the quarterback position sometimes can be traumatic, but a lot of times it leads to hope. We've got a couple of teams here with young signal callers looking towards the future. And you know the old saying, Mike, in the NFL, it is truer than ever. If you have a quarterback, you have a chance. And here we have two teams that feel like they have that quarterback position of the future settled. There's going to be some growing pains. There's going to be some moments where that youth rears its head. But over the long term, both these organizations feel like they have an answer at the most critical position in all of sports. Here's Jake Moody to get this one kicked off. And off we go from Santa Clara. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. He won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. Mike, the term generational talent, it gets thrown around a bit too loosely these days, in my opinion, but you can make an argument if one guy coming out of the draft the last couple years was worthy of that description, it's Caleb Williams. I mean, the arm talent, the playmaking ability, the ability to play off script when things don't go perfectly. I mean, he is such an interesting prospect, special player, and I'm excited to watch him here in this one. And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. So they come to the line for first down and 10. to throw it's Williams and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete what a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving and it'll be second down really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field that is the most valuable real estate on the field they know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes so give credit they took away all the throwing lanes and that ball falls incomplete and nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage and that is it what makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision in this case the linebacker has his keys brings him right where the ball is going and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game on third down it's William. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. Santos's kick is good. And the Bears are out to an early 3-0 lead. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. Debo Samuel going to get a chance to return it. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Here come the 49ers, and they are led by Brock Purdy. 
you know the story, taken last in the 2022 draft. The last two seasons, he has led the Niners deep in the playoffs, and it's his third season, Greg, as the QB for San Francisco. And after studying this quarterback, Mike, I really like the way he carries himself. He really takes accountability. Every time there's something that goes wrong, he puts it on his shoulders. And every time there's success, he's always the first one to give it to everybody else. That's the kind of leadership role you're looking for out of this position. And I think this guy's a great example of it. Gets this one into the hands of Juwan Jennings. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Anytime you're facing a zone defense, you're working from your first progression all the way through. But when guys are open in this level, Mike, they don't stay open very long. So what they taught us as receivers, if you're open, stay open. And if you're not open, you better get open quick as that ball is coming out. Right side, pulled in by Samuel. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. They'll run. This is Jordan Mason. And he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. Shotgun snap to Purdy. Has his man. It's Samuel. And he's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. He'll locate his tight end, George Kittle. And he will get into the end zone. George Kittle. Touchdown, San Francisco. What a catch and run by the tight end as he takes it into the end zone and finishes the play. Greg, you know what that's like. Tight end, touchdown. Mike, so often the tight ends are considered to be the possession guys, right? They're the guy you throw it to when you need an easy catch, you need a reliable target. But not this guy. He is a downfield weapon, and he just showed you right there what he's capable of. Now Jake Moody for the extra point. It's up and through. And the 49ers move out to a 7-3 lead. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. DeAndre Carter on the return. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. So, here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. They'll put Everett in motion here. They'll start on the ground with Swift. He'll try to push forward. He'll wind up getting three yards with that one. Devondre Campbell brings him down. They face second down and seven. A play fake. Now Williams going to look deep, looking for more. His offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd, and 
Even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. If they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes, it's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. He's got the hook up there to Odunze. And a big strike for good yardage there all the way up to midfield. These third down conversions are just so important, Mike. Everybody stresses we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. Set to go now on first and ten. Out of the shotgun, it's a give to Swift. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Throwing is Williams. The second down throw is incomplete. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. From the shotgun, it's Williams. He's got his man. Allen with the connection. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Third downs, Mike, those are quarterback downs. Those are the downs where you tend to find yourself in a must-pass situation. And that's where the top guys in the league are still capable of overcoming it. So throw the ball downfield, be accurate with the ball. Winning on third downs, that is a recipe for success. On first and ten, it's Williams. And good work there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Charvarius Ward able to get the hand in there and make the play. You just can't say enough about how hard it is to play cornerback in today's modern NFL, Mike. I mean, not only are these wide receivers better than ever, but the way the rules are written, you're really out there on an island with not a lot of options. Your technique has to be perfect. Your timing has to be perfect. It's exactly what we saw here, and he makes a great play on the ball. Converted twice on third down already on this drive. Now can they do it for a third time? That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Devondre Campbell. And the Niners are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Oh, and in that spot, Mike, that's just painful to see. If the throw's not there, you want him to just get rid of it. Throw it 50 rows into the stands. Give somebody a souvenir. But worst-case scenario, you've got to get to fourth down and have a shot at three points. But instead, after that pick, you come away with zero. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Out of the gun. Here's Purdy. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield, and now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Purdy now on second down. Open man is Jennings. Now he's loose at the 40. And he is short of the goal line, but they are in business at the one-yard line. 
If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. So now, after the fireworks, a chance to cash in. They have it first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he will not get in from there. In fact, I think he was shoved backwards a little bit. So now then, first and goal from the one. They'll run. This is Mason. And he will dive into the end zone. Gordon Mason. Touchdown, 49ers. A lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, and once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side. And in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. On is Moody to add the extra point. He gets it to go, and the 49ers extend their advantage to 14-3. to three. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. Carter on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. He's going nowhere. Losing yardage on that play. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part. Coming through again with another big stop for a loss. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. That's a short throw caught by Komet. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Great timing and anticipation. The second the tight end's head turned around, the quarterback put the ball on him. And now it's, hey, let's see who wants to tackle this big guy and bring him to the ground. Third down and nine. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. Going to look deep. Looking for more. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there. Making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. This offense has to find a way to be better on first and second down. Mike, living in these third and long situations, must pass, is not a recipe that their offensive coordinator wants to operate in. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. To throw on first down is Purdy. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. A second down throw here for Purdy. 
That's into the hands of Jordan Mason. And they're going to mark him down right at the 30-yard line. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. So, first and ten now from the 30. To throw is Purdy. That's over the middle to Kittle. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. To throw once more, it's Purdy. A throw there on second down, going to be incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and Frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Here's third down and a few inches. Here's Purdy again. He finds his big receiver. That's Jennings. And they will finally run him down. This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike. And it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page. And the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry, because if they don't, they could be in for a long day. They'll come up here first and ten. Back to the air again is Purdy. Look wide. Get this one complete. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. The quick passing game in the NFL, Mike, is so dependent on yards after the catch. you got to generate space with the scheme, and then it's up to the receiver to do the rest. In this case, nice job defensively, because this guy couldn't even get back to the original line of scrimmage. And some good blocking. Springing up a gain of nine as we get to third down. They need two. Here's Purdy. He's got his tight end, Kittle. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Now they're entering the area of the field, especially with the amount of yards they've gained on this possession, Mike, where it feels like a touchdown is critical. For the defense, settling for a field goal here, especially with the ball where it is, feels like a win. That's over the middle and caught by Pearsall. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. On the ground is Mason. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. Third and short. Here's Purdy. 
It is brought in in the end zone. Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Moody now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the 49ers move out to a 21-3 advantage. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. Carter on the return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. First and 10. On the bootleg, it's Williams. Throw right side, caught by Odunze. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. On the give, here's Swift. And he'll be close to a first down. A gain of a couple as they mark him just short. Third and a yard. They'll try to run for it. It's swift. He'll convert, picking up the first down at the 46-yard line. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did, pick up the first down. Here's a handoff to Swift. Finds room inside the 40. And he'll be taken down. This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. A play fake, and they'll throw with Williams. That'll be caught by DeAndre Swift. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. I think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game, I think those days are over, Mike. I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL, yes, you have to cover, but you also have to be able to come up and tackle. Williams to throw on second down. And that's going to be incomplete coverage was good that time the contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down well it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game Mike has really just been the inefficiency of this offense and primarily out of the quarterback position I mean to complete less than half of your pass attempts it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL and if they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one He's going to have to get a lot better with the ball. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. you got to see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and 
Let's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bears are back within two scores. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Samuel, going to see what he can do. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Brock Purdy and the NFC champs back out to begin this next drop. And he has come out of the gates hot. He's been on target with his throws, and that's reflected in those numbers as he'll look to keep it going here. Here's first and ten. Out of the gun. It's Purdy. Looking to Samuel on the out route. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. Purdy works out of the pistol. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often and when you're one of the go-to guys on your team I know the hits coming but guess what it feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop four catches already in this opening quarter off to a hot start as he picks up the first down third and inches you're thinking the tight ends are on the field to block for the back or the quarterback but not here nice setup here playing to the tendencies of their offense and they come away with a nice completion. Throwing again is Purdy. They go sideline and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. Give him 18 yards on that one and a first down. It's just so impressive to see how good these guys are, especially the veterans, Mike. They've been out there a long time, a lot of experience. They know exactly where they are on the sideline, not only to secure this catch, but to be able to toe tap and drag that second foot. That's a big time play by a big time receiver. Give him 10 more on that one. Just enough for another first down. So after one, the Niners have the early advantage. And we're back in the Bay Area after this. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. One of the tight ends in motion right. A run. And here's Mason. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. They're going to motion the tight end over here. They'll stick with him again. And he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down.
From the gun, it's Purdy. That's complete to Mason. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. On fourth down, it's Jake Moody time for the Niners. Officially a 29-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the 49ers will extend their lead. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. Moody comes back on the field. After making the field goal, he's set to kick off. Carter on the return. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. They'll run out of the gun. It is Swift. He makes one man miss, but stop quickly as they hold him to a gain of one. Here's a second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Williams. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. The big tight end, Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And it's going to be third down. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Give him 11 on the scramble and give them a new set of downs. This is an element that defensively you always have to be ready to defend. You can't just accept that it's a pass and be so consumed with the receivers downfield. You have to account for the quarterback as a scrambler. You can see why as he's able to get out of the pocket and pick up the first down. And this time, the rush gets home, and down he goes. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They will run it over center with Swift. He'll take this ahead. It's a pickup of three. Malik Mustafa there to bring him down. Third and long. Working out of the gun. Here's Williams. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Here's Tory Taylor now. He'll punt for the second time after hitting a beauty in his first effort. To return is Pearsall. 
And he'll get a few yards on this return up past the 15-yard line. So here's Brock Purdy and this 49ers offense heading back onto the field. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Shotgun snap to Purdy. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And they're going to move the ball all the way up to the 45-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. To the ground, a first down run. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. From the shotgun, it's Purdy. No one open, he'll drop it to his running back. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Here's second and nine. Throwing from the gun is Purdy. Open man is Samuel, complete. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Third and short, Purdy. He'll try and get there on the ground. And Purdy going to smartly hit the deck here as he's able to pick up the first down in the process. This is exactly how it's supposed to look on third down. His eyes are downfield. Nothing materializes. He quickly decides he can do it himself, picks up the first down, and then to protect himself with the slide, well done. To throw on first down is Purdy. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. Third down, Purdy. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and 
live to play another snap. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Niners add on to their lead. I think at this point in the game, Mike, when you have things under control, not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while, they still were able to manage to add three points. Moody comes back on the field after making the field goal. He's set to kick off. Carter on the return. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Throwing on first down, it's Williams. Completing that one to Carter. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. They'll go play action here with Williams. Now he takes off. He'll get a dozen out of that one, scrambling his way to a first down. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. But a nice job by the quarterback, realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off, turn into a runner, pick up the first down. Here's Williams on first and ten. And unable to connect there. It's incomplete. He was looking to get it to D.J. Moore. And it'll lead to a second down. I think at some point for this quarterback, he has to start looking some other directions. I mean, he's tried to get the ball now to this guy multiple times, and all of them have resulted in incomplete passes. I'm not saying don't throw it to him in the future, but maybe get yourself a couple easy completions elsewhere before you look back in his direction. Third and nine. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. And that is incomplete. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. Here's the punter now as he's on to punt for Chicago. And this is going to work out for him. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. The 49ers offense and Brock Purdy headed back on the field for their next possession. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. He spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. Set to go now on first and 10. Receiver in motion, headed left. His drive will start on the ground. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the 20. Once you see that guy coming across the formation pre-snap, Mike, you have to be thinking jet sweep instantly. It's just such a dangerous play that always has the potential for this type of yardage, especially when he wins that race to the edge. A first down throw for Purdy. A throw left side complete to Pearsall. 12 yards on that hookup. It's good for a Niners first down. Really nice play here by Ricky Pearsall, and 
When you look around this 49ers offense, Mike, can you give Kyle Shanahan just one more weapon? A guy with elite hands, a polished route runner coming out of the college game in Florida. He just gives one more weapon to go in with Debo and Christian McCaffrey and George Kittle. I mean, this has the makings of one of the scarier offensive skill units in the entire NFL. And even though he's a young rookie, I think by year end, I think Pearsall is going to have a huge impact on the success of this 49ers offense. They'll come up here on second down and five. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. Boy, they got the block to spring him, and it was a foot race. And when he gets in that foot race, Mike, he's normally good for this type of yardage before anyone's able to run him down. On first and ten, it's Purdy. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbound. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Throwing on second down is Purdy. He'll go right and find his running back, and they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. He'll go underneath here, the running back out of the backfield. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. Now a give up the middle. And the Niners are going to have what looks to be a first and goal. He'll take this down to the 10-yard line. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst... They had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. First and ten for Purdy. He pulls it in around the five. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon, and Frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one, setting up third and goal. Two minutes remain here in this first half. Greg and I back with you from Santa Clara in a moment. And he will not get in. The defense stands their ground, pushes him back, and they force fourth down. So Jake Moody now out for the field goal. This about as short as you can get. Three for three in the game as this one is also good. And the 49ers going to tack on three more. Extending the lead here late in the first half.
Booty comes back on the field. After making the field goal, he's set to kick off. Carter on the return. A good return as he takes it across the 30. play fake and they'll throw with Williams looking middle and complete with Allen that's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down it's been a rough first half but now as we approach halftime Mike you got to start getting some wins and it could be something small like we just saw here some positive plays build a little confidence on that sideline so as you go into halftime you have something to build on He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. He'll try again here, second and ten. To throw, it's Williams. And that's going to be incomplete coverage was good that time the contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down you know it's hard to speculate Mike we sit up here and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches but they seem to me to be a little bit rattled all these negative plays have really started to pile up in the first half he's got to settle down have some more efficiency on these early downs and get his offense into some sort of rhythm and he'll be out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. That catch puts him over 100 yards for the game, and we still have another half to go. That catch picks up the first down. Throwing again, Williams. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. He's going to keep it himself. That's a second charge timeout to Chicago as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Williams. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch-and-catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. That's going to wind up incomplete. Not much time remaining. Time for one more snap here in this first half. It's hard to play that ball any better than the way that defender did right there. I mean, to stay patient throughout the entire play and make sure that not only are you in prime position to make it, but then once the ball is there, attack it, knock it down, and save a touchdown. Three for three in the game as this one is also good. So we hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers in the lead as we send you back east to sunny Florida. Standing by with our EA Sports Halftime Report, it's the coach, Jonathan Coachman.
Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Niners got a fine performance in the first half from one of their leaders, Brock Purdy. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Niners offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And as we take you through some of the highlights so far, you're going to see a lot of passing yards. He has carved up this defense over 300 yards passing in the game and has been sharp right from the start. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Now to the rookie out of Louisville. It's Isaac Garendo. And he'll work this past the 25 to the 26-yard line. It was Kevin Byard that time to make the play. Purdy now on second down. Oh, that swung out wide and intercepted. It's the veteran safety, Kevin Byer. And he is going to bring this one back. A DB's dream. A pick six for touchdown. The pick six for the score. Greg, that is the one thing this offense did not want to see. And it really is demoralizing to see that happen in that spot. Absolutely, Mike. And that's one of those cases where you just would like to see the quarterback say, all right, I'm going to live to play another day. Don't force that throw. Don't try to make a play that's not there. Because not only do you turn the ball over, you give them an easy six. And on the other side, the defense, what a moment. Uplifting for them. Big momentum building. Yeah, and that's the way games are shaped in this league, Mike. I mean, you find yourself able to capitalize on a mistake by an offense. You get yourself an easy touchdown. All of a sudden, your sideline finds themselves completely rejuvenated. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Samuel going to see what he can do. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Here's the San Francisco offense ready to take possession of the ball once more. As we look back at some of the highlights of this one, you'll see a lot of them, Greg, coming from the passing game. They've done a nice job picking the defense apart. Yeah, and I think that's the right way to say it. It hasn't necessarily been just a bunch of deep shots, a bunch of explosives. It's been more methodical. It's been precise. They've really been all over their execution, and this is about as close to a complete performance as you're going to see from any offense throughout the course of this season. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll begin here on the ground. Oh, and he'll be taken down as he takes it just shy of midfield. There's a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Man in motion, heading left. They'll get creative here on the jet sweep. And a good job defensively to rally to the ball. They hold them to a short game.
He'll come up on a second down and eight. Third and five. Out of the gun, here's Purdy. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. A gain of 16 yards. First down, 49ers. That's just such a tough throw. I mean, that's all arm. Being able to get your body turned and throw back across your body. I mean, it's one thing if you're just throwing it a couple yards to a check down. But in this case, he's still willing and able to push the ball downfield and there does come some danger when you throw back across but in this case it's a big completion off balance throw it's complete that's a gain of 11 and they'll move the chains with another first down really nice answer to the previous drive from this quarterback you want to play at this league and you want to play for a long time you better have a short term memory because mistakes are going to happen Really nice job here, bouncing back, putting together a promising drive, and he's open to come away with a touchdown of his own. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Second down and eight. From the gun, it's Purdy. The throw to the right flat. It is caught. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Good drive to this point. Now can you convert on third and three. From the shotgun. It's Purdy. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you... Now, Kyle Shanahan not happy with that last call, and he's going to put out that red challenge flood. They're looking both at the feet to see if two were down but also whether or not he had full possession of the football when those feet were down. So that challenge, a successful one. On is Moody to add the extra point. He's got it. And the 49ers will extend this third quarter lead. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. On the return, it's Tyler Scott. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Not much happening there. Just a short game. On 
on the option. It's Swift. And they'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. Devondre Campbell brings him down. They need eight as they come up for third down. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. That one on target to Moore. A gain there of 11. Good for a Bears first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Williams going to look to throw it on first down. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. This duo, dynamite. 18 yards on that connection, and another first. And these are the throws that when they evaluate young quarterbacks coming out of college, they want to see you be able to... Now, Kyle Shanahan, not happy with that last call, and he's going to put out that red challenge flag. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules... You're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around. He has control. So that's what the referee is looking at here. So the challenge, unsuccessful. And they are out of challenges now for the remainder of the game. They go three tight ends here on first and ten. On the give, it's Swift. And he'll get this down inside the 40-yard line. That's a gain of five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll go again with Swift. And he's going to pick it up and take it down inside the 35 for the first down. On the ground, it's Swift. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. He's got his tight end down the field. That's Komet. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. What a luxury that certain teams, when they have a guy like this, I mean, not only is he the big target, but then to have that size and speed to run away from these linebackers and do so much of his damage after the catch. From the four-yard line, trying to punch it in. First down and goal. They'll run with Swift. And he'll plunge forward to the two. Setting up second and goal. From a little closer, here's second and goal. One more time, they try Swift. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one. Setting up third and goal. Yeah. 
They'll try to run with Swift. And he will not get in the defense. Standing their ground, pushing him back, and it sets up fourth and goal. What can you say about the effort of this defense, Mike? I mean, they find themselves backed up their heels on their own goal line. And not only do they come up with a big third down stop, they take them back for a loss. Brings up fourth down, and wow, they got a chance to make a huge goal line stand. This has been quite the drive. Three points would kind of feel like a letdown. So they're going to go for it here on fourth and goal. And this is caught. Wow, the decision to go pays off. Rome Odunze, touchdown Chicago. Santos for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Bears are able to edge a bit closer. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Samuel gonna see what he can do he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the Niners offense and their quarterback ready to go once more and he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one this defense has been picked apart that is borne out in those impressive numbers he has been terrific all game long. They'll come up here first and ten. A run. And here's Mason. And they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. Pretty much just more of the same from what we saw with this back in the first half. And he doesn't need much. He gets a little bit of space, and then he can create the rest. It's the combination of patience, vision, and then the burst to hit the hole once he sees it. This guy's been a handful all day. On first and 10, Purdy. That's taken in by Jennings. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. Purdy going to give this to Garendo. He'll work his way forward for about three yards. T.J. Edwards there on the stop. Here's a third down and four. Out of the gun. It's Purdy. Has his man. It's Samuel. Good work after the catch. They gain 19 yards and a first down. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. It's a three tight end look as they have it first and ten. They'll run. This is Mason. And not a whole lot to speak of there. He'll work it down inside the 35. On 
the ground is Mason. Trying to find somewhere to move forward, but nothing going. Tackled for the loss of a yard. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. That pass to the sideline, nice job to bring it in and stay in bounds, but still short of that first down. The best guys I've been around, Mike, they have a sense where they can see the ball, but they can feel the sideline, and that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Another one through the uprights. He's four for four on the game. And the Niners will extend their third quarter lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Moody comes back on the field after making the field goal. He's set to kick off. Carter on the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. Here's first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Williams. That's a short throw caught by Komet. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. There goes Swift, first down, and more. 20, 15, the speed on display. He's in. DeAndre Swift, touchdown, Bears. Good-looking rushing touchdown there. Offensive line does its job. And that back taking off to the end zone for the touchdown. Mike, you're exactly right. He might get credit in the box score for that long rushing touchdown, but it was the big guys up front who were able to make that play possible. Santos, good on the extra point. And the Bears are able to cut the deficit to 10. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Samuel going to see what he can do. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. 49ers offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now, they're going to try to keep it going. And he maneuvers his way forward, a gain of six. They'll come up now for second down and four. Throwing from the gun is Purdy. Down. 
Kevin Byard, the veteran who's broken up a few passes in his day, gets to that one. If you want to be a top-notch NFL DB, of course, yes, the athleticism is a given. But it's really, you have to be instinctive. The instincts are what allow you to maximize those physical skills. And you saw them on full display right here, leading in the big-time breakup. And this ball incomplete on third down. Wow, that's two straight plays now where this secondary has won their matchup. And... Right now, the offense needs to find some plays that just call for easy completions. Get your wide receivers in space. Allow them to run after the catch. Because right now, these downfield passes, the defense is all over. Oh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. First and ten. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. And they're going to mark him down right at the 30-yard line. And he continues to carry the ball well. Another nice one here. But as they find themselves continuing to trail here in the second half, the opposing team's defense is not really concerned about the run game. They need to find a way to use the pass to get the lead and then go back to this run game to close the game out. They'll go play action here with Williams. That complete to Swift. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath, and they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes, and once you do, you can try to go for the big one. For the middle, that's caught by Moore. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, Continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Now he'll run. And the quarterback scrambling maneuvers his way back to the line of scrimmage. But that's all he can get out of that one. So often the best pass defense is a good pass rush, and that's exactly what we saw here. The pass rush disrupted this play from the very start. The quarterback has all of his attention on the rushers rather than his receivers downfield. All he can manage to do is get back to the original line of scrimmage. And he'll take this ahead for a gain of about five, and here comes third down. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Keenan Allen on that one. And it's going to bring up fourth down. I think the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient. But at others, he just misses too many easy throws question is are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out and no return forthcoming it's a touchback and will come out to the 20 yard line So they come to the line for first down and 10. And they're going to mark them down right at the 30-yard line.
on first and ten, it's Purdy. That's complete to Mason. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Throwing is Purdy. He's going to tuck it and go. And Purdy going to smartly hit the deck here as he's able to pick up the first down in the process. A pickup there of 28 yards. And this is when it just gets very frustrating as a defense because this is what it's been like all day. The pass rush is good, but just not quite good enough. They let him slip through, and he burns them with big yardage. Here's Purdy making the read and keeping it. The defense not fighting. They stay at home, stop the quarterback. No gain on the play. A lot of defense's strategy of defending the zone read, Mike, is we want that quarterback to pull the ball. It's one of their few chances throughout the course of the game where they can get their hits on them. And in this case, they're able to hold them to no gain. Purdy now on second down. He'll go underneath here. The running back out of the backfield. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock and... Without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. Man, what a big-time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. Out of the gun. Here's a run up the gut. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here keeping it to no gain. This a must stop for this defense. Facing third and long. They'll try to get this one on the ground. So Jake Moody now out for the field goal. This will be a 38-yard attempt. Moody's kick is good. And the 49ers will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive. But at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. Moody comes back on the field after making the field goal. He's set to kick off. Scott now on the return. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. They'll stick to the ground. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. 
We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no game. Throwing on second down, Williams. Throwing left side there, but it is incomplete. They're lucky to have avoided this mistake here, Mike. In the fourth quarter, with possessions running out, that would have been a critical back-breaking play in this game. And they're going to have second life now after that defender drops the ball. And let's see if they can take advantage of it. On third down, it's Williams. And that is incomplete. Well, we all know the running joke, right, Mike? If this guy could catch, he'd be playing offense. And, well, I think that's kind of a joke for the pass. These defensive players are incredible these days. That's just too easy. You've got to secure that interception for your defense and get off the field. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Niners offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. Set to go now on first and ten. Drive will start on the ground. And this will wind up a Niners first down. As he gets this up past the 40-yard line. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. They'll stay on the ground. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Purdy. Samuel has it on the slant. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. So often we see a team that's milking a two-score lead get very conservative, especially in the fourth quarter, but not this coach. He says, all right, I might have a two-score lead. I want to make it three. He's trying to put as much pressure on his opponent possible here down the stretch late. Purdy works out of the pistol. Quick throw here is complete. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. First and 10. Purdy. Open man is Jennings. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Seemed like the receiver, Mike, ran through like five different open zones, but once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. Back to the air is Purdy. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. These hitch routes, they're usually just designed to pick up a few safe yards. An easy completion, get some rhythm for your quarterback. However, this time, he's able to make a little magic happen after the catch and turn it into something much bigger than even they were probably anticipating. Back to the air again is Purdy. And he'll take it on in. Jawan Jennings. Touchdown, 49ers. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but 
it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Purdy and the 49ers will try to get two more. They'll look to throw. That's going to be caught. So add a couple more points, and they add to their lead. Mike, I think all of us can remember exactly where we were during a certain Super Bowl where throwing the ball this close to the goal line ended up being a disaster. But unlike that time, they ran this pass play to perfection, and the result, two points. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, the stats. It has all been on display throughout. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Working out of the gun. Here's Williams. That one into the hands of Moore downfield. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. Nice way to start the drive here. Really good protection by the guys up front. Good decision by the quarterback to find his read. Ball's accurate. Ball's on time. Now they're able to start this drive and get on the move the right way. Throwing on first down, it's Williams. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Just a little slow developing on that screenplay there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. On second down, it's Williams. That is left side and taken in by Allen. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. We'll try to throw again. Here's Williams. Toss right side to the tight end, Komet. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. Thrown quickly. That's more on the RPO. And he's going to be out of bounds, but he's got the first down. A pickup of eight. Throw it again. It's Williams. Looking middle and complete with Allen. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page. And when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. They'll work now on second and four. Here's a handoff to Swift. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. 
Sometimes you run all those big bodies out there, you kind of tip your hand. I always love going big jumbo personnel for a play action. In this case, they keep the ball on the ground. The defense knew it was coming, and they suffer a loss. On third down, here's Swift. The offense is staying right there. They're going for it. Fourth and a couple. They're going for it. Here's Williams. That is incomplete. They took a chance throwing it on fourth and short, but not to be, and they'll turn it over on downs. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. They'll begin here on the ground. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's second and six. A run with Garendo. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. You have to wonder if next time does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play. It was clear before the ball was snapped. This was not a great look for that play call, and you can see the end result. Third down, Purdy. Checking it down, this one is caught. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. Really nice play recognition there by the defense. They sensed the quarterback had nowhere to go downfield and that ball was going to be checked down. The moment that ball hit the running back's hands, there was nowhere to go. the 49ers out for the punt and he's on to punt for just the second time in this game on the return it's Carter and he's going to be brought down after a short return and that's where his team will get possession of the football They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. From the shotgun, it's Williams. He'll get this underneath to Swift. Anytime you have a running back like this, it's more about just how many ways can you get the ball in his hand. He's had a great game today so far on the ground. Now they're starting to find ways to get him the ball through the air, and that is a handful for any defense. Williams to throw on second down. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This has really been the story of this entire game, Mike. I mean, this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much from the jump, and they've already recorded a couple of sacks, a handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame. Third and short yardage, and here's Williams. And he's going to be out of bounds with a gain of seven. And that'll be enough for a first down. What that play call tells me is that play caller made up his mind. We're on third and inches. If we don't get it, we're going for it on fourth down. So he really treated that third down like second down 
They work the outside part of the field. Simple pitch and catch. It's a nice pickup. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And they'll take this down inside the 35. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Throwing again, Williams. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, like, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Williams to the air once more. Down the field, it's D.J. Moore. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike. And, of course, that's a given. But it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great... Oh, he feels the pressure, and he'll go down back at the six. From a little further back, here's second and goal. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do, and, man, they were this close to coming away with a huge takeaway. And this is going to be a touchdown. It's too little too late. They do get a bit closer as they score here in the final minute of play. is Santos for the PAT. His kick is good. And the Bears are able to cut into the deficit. This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Well, we knew, Mike, this was going to take a miracle. All they needed to do was recover this, score, recover another one, score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and this game's all but over. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. The Bears go ahead, take their third and final timeout, and the clock will stop with 45 seconds left in the game.
Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So a win here for the 49ers. They got out of the gates hot, ran out to the big first quarter lead, did not look back as they cruise in this one. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.